1993 score pinnacle home run club. This is a special set limited to 200,000, which was still way overproduced for a limited edition run. All right, there we go. This guy's got his own little box and everything. So let's rip this thing open and see what this is all about. I was already out of the hobby at this point. In 1992, I sold everything I had and got out of it. All right, here's the case. The case got some weird dust all over it for being sealed. Oh, like a damn jewelry box here. Check that out. <laughs> That's something else. All right, here we go. So there's our certificate of authenticity, set number 33,156. So let's get this going. Here's one. All right, so we got 48 cards. We start out with Juan Gonzalez. Let's take a look at the back. It's just a, you know, silver ink. Try to make it look like it's made out of aluminum or something. So there's Juan Gonzalez, Fred McGriff, Cecil Fielder, Barry Bonds, Albert Bell, Gary Sheffield, Joe Carter, Mark McGuire, Darren Dalton, Jose Canseco. I don't know why that card feels so thick. Oh, it's because there's one stuck to it. Dave Hollins. Who the hell is Dave Hollins? Ryan Sandberg. Yeah, they're stuck together now. All right. So Ryan Sandberg, Ken Griffey Jr., Larry Walker, Rob Deere, Andre Dawson. There's the big hurt, Frank Thomas. Let's see if I can move these apart without destroying them. Mickey Tettleton. Charlie Hayes, there's Ron Gant, he put up some good numbers here in Atlanta. Ricky Henderson, Matt Williams, wow. Kevin Mitchell, Robin Ventura, I'm gonna have to break them apart. Dean Palmer, Mike Piazza, JT Snow, Jeff Bagwell, John Olerud, Greg Vaughn, there's Dave Justice, Dave Winfield, Danny Tartable, Eric Anthony, Eddie Murray, weird seeing him in a Mets uniform, Jay Buhner, Derek Bell, Will Clark, hold on, he's stuck to somebody here, let's see, there it is. Carlos Bayerga, Mo Vaughn, Bobby Bonilla, Tim Salmon, Bo Jackson, Howard Johnson, Kent Herbick, Ruben Sierra, Cal Ripken Jr., and we finished with Travis, Fr Travis Fryman. The reason these things are stuck together is because the, the water-based gloss coating that they used back in those days, this is like his UV coating, what it was is they probably didn't have their uh, ultraviolet dryers set correctly when this went through the print press. And when they cut this thing, the clamps on the cutting machines have so much pressure that it basically would fuse this together. And, you know, hell, nobody knew this was new technology back in the early 90s. I used to be in the print business, so I've seen it happen a lot where you just you'd call them in a brick. You'd have like a whole stacks of paper brick together because it wasn't done right with this aqueous coating because it'll turn to glue if it doesn't dry properly so hope you enjoyed that it's kind of an interesting set i don't think i've seen anybody open this before but you know pretty neat hope you enjoyed it let me know what you thought about it and uh we will catch you on the next video subscribe if you haven't because it helps the channel grow and we will catch you later thanks again